Antimicrobial resistance constitutes a serious risk to the health of people and animals worldwide and causes serious economic damage. Several international organizations have called for collaboration across public, animal and environmental health sectors so that we can get a better and fuller understanding of the challenge of antimicrobial resistance. Several surveillance programs have been implemented to support this process and gain information on antimicrobial use and resistance. However, many of these surveillance programs are not evaluated and therefore we do not have good information on their effectiveness and economic efficiency. Therefore, we have formed this consortium, which is called COEVAL AMR, which stands for Convergence in Evaluation Frameworks for Integrated Surveillance of Antimicrobial Use and Antimicrobial Resistance. In this consortium, we are bringing together experts in the field of antimicrobial use and resistance, surveillance and evaluation. First, we compiled existing evaluation frameworks and tools for surveillance and then characterized them by categorizing all the questions in these tools according to specific attributes. As a next activity, we conducted a survey among surveillance stakeholders to find out what their evaluation processes and needs are. We then also collected a series of case studies where we applied existing evaluation tools to a range of surveillance situations in different countries. We then pulled together all the information collected in the consortium and elaborated an online guidance which is publicly available. The user who goes to this online guidance will find information on the evaluation of surveillance for antimicrobial use and antimicrobial resistance, as well as a decision support tool that can help people to select an evaluation tool that is suitable for their surveillance evaluation needs. Also, the, the, the people visiting our guidance can find reports of users who use the different evaluation tools with their subjective user experiences. Antimicrobial resistance is one of the key challenges both in veterinary medicine and in public health. The use of antibiotics leads to resistance. And to prevent this emergence, we need to understand the drivers of usage and the drivers of resistance. Surveillance programs are at the center of collection um, of such information and to provide the basis for decision makers such as our office to manage risks and opportunities successfully in the future. However, the operation of surveillance programs is also costly and therefore we need to be sure that the surveillance we are operating is effective and efficient, particularly also across sectors. Surveillance systems need to be integrated between public health and veterinary sectors to make optimal use of resources. Evaluation is one of the key tools to make sure that systems we are running are effective and efficient. And therefore, programs such as COEVAL AMR are really important to provide the basis for decision making for offices such as ours. There are a lot of different evaluation methodologies out there. Some of them are designed for evaluating surveillance systems, but some of them are also designed for evaluating specifically AMR systems. Um, it's important to think about which system to choose because AMR is very complex, it's multi-sectoral, it's multidisciplinary. There are a lot of issues in this. They have different priorities in different countries. And it's, a, it's quite hard to, to get an overview of all the different things in your programme. And this is where COEVAL, the COEVAL website, has, is a big help, especially in the beginning of an, an evaluation process, because they have made a, a, a big collection of all the different uh, methodologies out there. Further than that, they've made a tool where you can help prior you can prioritize what the purposes are for your evaluation and the tool will propose uh, which evaluation methodologies are most appropriate for your purposes the coeval amr consortium is now entering in the second phase of its activities during the first phase our group identifies significant gaps in current available evaluation methods for amr and ai new surveillance systems for example, uh, methods for evaluation of governance strategies need to be refined, as well as metrics to evaluate integrated surveillance impacts and economic efficiency. 
The consortium will work on these gaps in the second phase of the project. Uh, we will conduct more case studies to compare integrated surveillance governance strategies across countries to identify the most effective and efficient approach. We would like to encourage you to explore the resources on our website, including the guidance as well as videos that we have been producing to explain our work. If you would like to get more information or you're interested in joining the consortium, please do feel free to get in touch with us. You can see our contact details here. We look forward to hearing from you.